What's up guys? So uh, now that I've got the truck painted up to par, got the mud flaps on, got the lights on, the hitch for the plow is also mounted. I don't have the plow on there right now because it's not snowing. I have to build myself a salt and sand spreader that can spread uh, stuff that's a little bit heavier than just salt. So I got to build something robust to hopefully fit into the two inch receiver that I have on the back here. Got a 55 gallon drum here. It's steel so I can weld on that as much as I need to. I can put a two inch uh, steel pipe on the bottom of it to support everything. Right now I'm working on getting the top inch of this cut off to make a lid so I can fill it, put the lid back on, maybe put some straps on it. That's what we're up with right now, coming up. So that's all welded up. I decided to put a hinge on it, stuck this lip on there to hopefully make everything line up the way it should. Seems to do pretty good so far. Now I have to figure out an auger system. I think I'm gonna put like a like a U-shaped deal down in here where uh, all the sand, once it starts going down the barrel, it'll fall into like this V pattern. And like a little hole down at the bottom where it all gets augged out, it'll all fall into like a spreader dish. Give you a quick look as to what I've done inside so far. So what you're seeing down there is uh, what's left of a plastic oil drum. Now, to, in order to control a salt and sand spreader, you have to have a couple different control systems. A uh, homemade control panel, if you will, made out of a six inch by six inch plastic box. Uh, each one of these uh, control modules comes with a reverse switch, so you can either go forward or backward, a speed controller, and a monitor. Most of the time, I have it up to about uh, 50 volts spreads eight feet.
unfortunately it's uh, approaching on summer so hopefully this video will show you guys what this spreader can actually do I should have done this in the winter time but time got away from me so here here's the best I have for you So this section here is approximately 30%. You can see here the tire tracks here and tire tracks there. This is approximately 70%. It's spreading from there to about here. It's about two feet on this side and two feet on that side. Come out to about here. We're now about to here. This is 100%. Now about approximately four and a half feet. It's another shot from this angle. It's actually a little bit wider than what I was thinking. It's maximum spread is actually much, much further. So if I pan the video over this direction, it's actually about here is where the spread stops. At least 10 feet on this side, and it would be about 10 feet that side. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this was somewhat educational, if not completely entertaining, but we'll see you all next time.